<clears throat> hey, what's up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the 2023 top 10s as we're going to look at my number six junior welterweight in the world right now. The uh, contender from Spain, Sandor Martin. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, Martin um, moves up two spots from number eight this year. Um, 30 years old. Overall, he's 42-3 and three with 15 knockouts. He's the WBC's number one ranked contender and the WBO's number four ranked contender. Um... He basically waited around after the Teofimo Lopez uh, controversial loss that he suffered at the end of 2022. He, um, <clears throat> he waited around for somebody to want to fight him. Nobody did, so he just stayed busy in July and got a sixth round knockout. And then he followed that up in December, stayed busy again after nobody wanted to fight him and got a third round knockout against low level competition. But, you know, it's disappointing because Sandra Martin is a guy that beat Mikey Garcia, and he really gave uh, trouble to Teofimo Lopez, and nobody wants to fight him. He's a WBC's number one ranked contender right now, but now the WBC looks like they're going to let Ryan Garcia fight Devin Haney for the title. I ain't going to lie. I like that the WBC is flexible, but it's a little confusing because while they're flexible, they should be ordering interim title fights or ordering final eliminators uh, to set their guys up or setting up a four-man box off if they're going to be that flexible with with um, with their title belt. But um, <clears throat> Sandor Martin, it's really up in the air on what is going to happen with him because um, I I'm sure he wants an opportunity to get in line for a world title. He's the number one ranked contender. They should order him and... Um, and uh, number two contender, Richardson Hitchens. They should order that fight. Um, you know, I'm sure Martin wants to fight other people rather than Richardson Hitchens, but if he has to, he'd be down to take that fight in a heartbeat, I, in my opinion. Santa Martin is fearless. He wants a world title shot, and I, he's not afraid to go earn it. So, and he's used to playing the role of the underdog. So, um, line him up, I, I, you know, and hopefully somebody signs on the dotted line and will fight him even if it's Gary Antoine Russell I think Sam Mar Sandro Martin needs to take the fight because not a lot of guys are lining up to fight him but one guy I think he should definitely go after is maybe Subriel Matias nobody seems to want to fight Matias I think Martin would be fearless and get a world title shot in the process plus Matias has as the option if he takes that fight if he can get that fight made he has the option of, make, of making Tiafima Lopez look bad, um, you know, by beating him. So, uh, because Lopez, you know, he could one-up Lopez and maybe go beat Santa Martin more convincingly and also give him the title shot. So, it makes sense. A lot of these guys need to fight each other. And Sandor Martin's one of those guys that not a lot of people sign up for because he has, he's a tricky southpaw. But he's, he's good enough and he deserves it, especially the, with the way he fought Tiafima Lopez. So, hopefully in 2024, he gets a crack at something, at least the final eliminator, to set up a world title shot. And and maybe maybe he can get a world title shot. Maybe um, maybe he can get, uh, you know, like I said, uh, Matias in the ring. We'll see what happens. But that's it. That's what I got. That's my, tw that's my number six junior welterweight in the world right now at 140 pounds, K Spanish contender, Su uh, Sandor Martin. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.